Hi. <laughs> this is camera news. All right. So, um, this week's news. The only news that I saw about camera releases is uh, something about a GoPro Max 2, which is coming soon. Um, that's the big news. Lots of rumors, so we'll get to the rumors next. Um, let's see. Uh, Nikon has increased the price of their 80 to 600 lens by $200. Which, ooh, boo. <laughs> price increases are not good. But, you know, typically in August, uh, you'll see some vendors, uh, manufacturers increasing their prices. So that's not uncommon at all. Uh, Leica Rumors posted uh, that a Voigtlander Bessa digital rangefinder camera could be happening. Uh, I guess it was on Leica Rumors because it, there's a Leica lens on the promo photo. Uh, perhaps they're jointly developing the camera. Not really sure, didn't really say. But anyway, so yeah, so Voigtlander uh, is supposedly working on a digital rangefinder camera. And it was on Leica Rumors, so that's where I saw that. Canon Addict uh, has reported that Canon is suffering some supply shortages. Uh, duh, that usually happens when new cameras come out, but so yeah. Um, but I've heard that those two new cameras are uber popular. So apparently sales are going pretty well for Canon. Uh, Sony Addict reports that Sony and the NFL have entered into a technology partnership and that Sony headphones are now the official headphones of the NFL. Supposedly they're working on a new NFL branded headphone made by Sony for NFL coaches and players and whatever they do during the games. Um, and I also some, saw something about a new camera being possible, the A6200. So that could be coming. Uh, Fuji Addict has increased prices on their Instax camera by about 25%. Ouch! Yeah, Ooh, that's, that's kind of a big jump. Sigma has announced that they're making a new cinema autofocus series of lenses. That sounds kind of cool. Uh, Sigma makes some really good lenses. The Lumix G7, which is a micro four thirds camera, is now in stock and is shipping. So if you have been waiting for one of those, you can now get one, apparently. Nikon rumors has reported that another patent for Nikon was registered in Indonesia and uh, their report is for either the Z50 replacement or the Coolpix P1000 replacement. So we'll see what comes of that. Uh, they also reported on a really cool lens cap that has an interchangeable compartment on the inside of the lens cap uh, which can hold Apple AirTags or memory cards or things like that. So that's kind of cool. That's a cool lens cap to, to have come out. Uh, but most of the buzz this week seems to be about cinema cameras. The Sony FX9 II is getting some buzz. That's one of their cinema cameras. I saw more than one video about a possible Nikon X Red Komodo Z, since Nikon acquired Red Cinema, there's been a lot of talk about the Red technology making it into Nikon cameras, as well as Red releasing a Z mount camera for Nikon lenses, and also about Nikon developing Cinema Line lenses. So, lots of buzz there happening. That hasn't seemed to have diminished. That's been kind of hitting the hitting the the rumor mill for almost two months now <laughs> um, now of course back in the 60s and 70s Nikon held almost 70% of market share uh, in cameras 
you know, that was, they were like the, they were like the canon of the 60s and 70s. So they had huge market share. Of course, that's back in the film days, and uh, there were lots of cameras making film cameras. In fact, everybody made film cameras, because that's all there was back then. <laughs> but there were different sizes of film. Yet most of them made uh, full frame, which is 35 millimeter, but some of them made like four, four fist cameras. There's the larger film format. Uh, so there were some other film type cameras, but then they, uh, Nikon started losing ground to Sony and Canon when uh, the whole tra transition into digital and then mirrorless and all that happened. Uh, but many think that Nikon is going to be uh, fighting back to get some of that market share, especially after the red acquisition. So it'll be, it'll be fun to watch what happens with all of that. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the camera news for this week. So please like and share and subscribe. You know, help my channel out, man. It really helps me a lot. Uh, subscribe t uh, and join me in some of my uh, Patreon uh, chats and things like that. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on on my Patreon page, so I'm enjoying that. Um, don't forget that I have a new uh, workshop coming up next week, so if you're in the um, New River Valley area of Virginia, you know, Southwest Virginia, uh, Central Virginia Community College is where I'll be hosting that uh, workshop. It'll be on the 15th and it's free to register, so look for my posts on my Instagram and Facebook, and you can sign up for free and come join the workshop. If you don't live in the area and you still want to learn some more about digital art, which is uber fun, so much going on, that's why I share so much on my Patreon page about what's going on in the digital realm. It's a new tool, you know, everybody had controversy about the camera when it was invented. Oh, that's not real art. You didn't make that. You know, whatever. <laughs> it's a tool. And it doesn't matter what kind of tools you use to make your art. Art is fun and it's supposed to be fun. And we're supposed to play around with things and have a good time. And that's what I do on my Patreon page. So join me there or join me for a workshop like the two that I've got coming up at Central Virginia Community College or check out my online course on Adobe Fresco. That's another option. So anyway, have a good week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.